Hi guys, it's Rizalka, and today we're starting Heavy Rain. Now, I know that I said I was going to finish Rizalka and Inquisitor first, but basically my living situation is going to be a bit different for the next couple of weeks, and I'm not going to have access to my PS3 after, well, after Easter week for about three, four weeks. So I figured, you know, I'd get in there, get started at least, and then, yeah do a whole heap of the um, PC games while I was incognita. Um, yeah, so basically I will be posting stuff but it will only be on my weekends because that will be the only time I'll be home. But I'll explain why and what's happening in the announcement video for the um, for the next what's it called? <laughs> for the next what's it called? Um, Snow White and the Three Stooges. It's going to be ready either tomorrow or the day after, but I'll do an announcement video when that's ready, so yeah. Anyway, we're starting Heavy Rain, which has already started without us, um, which is with this dude in some squares in his underpants, and and yeah. Uh, it's by Quantic Dream, who made one of my other favourite favorite new generation games, um, Fahrenheit also known in America as Indigo Prophecy and eventually I will play that as well as we know I will play everything eventually um ugh greasy face basically this game you'll love it or you hate it um the characters do kinda you know react like badly made you know RC cars but well, no, not even badly made RC cars, because RC cars can go backwards. This guy cannot. <laughs> but he's very... Gone you know. shopping. I'll pick the kids up from school at lunchtime, and then I'll come home to get things ready for Jason's birthday party. Don't work too hard. I love you. Sure you do. Um. But, but yeah. This first bit, I'm probably going to talk... <clears throat> Mostly shit in. Well, not really shit, but um. I better take a shower and get dressed before I go downstairs. Okay, because uh, just because, well, many people who've anyone who's seen a NLP of this probably has seen this scene over and over and over again. Um, but I will mention that pretty much this entire scene before the credits is basically your introduction screen. It's just not telling you that. It's being a sneaky, trying to be immersive thing. But, um, uh, uh, it just kind of feels a bit stale anyway. It feels kind of happy families. And I believe that, um, that Spoonie put it as, uh, it's just a guy hanging around in his apartment. Which I can kind of understand why that would be boring to a lot of people. But this game really does pick up. To the point that you just kind of go, uh, can we have like a stationary moment for a minute? Really? <laughs> what this thing that they're trying to show us now is that you can <clears throat> have a sore throat. Um, that you can control the speed at which you do things at and sometimes it's better to do things slowly um, because otherwise you look like a dickhead like he does now um no <laughs> that see look at that he's like whole body like bends a bit oh his six pack his six pack is like jelly um and we're about to get nudity more nudity, nudity than some of you might be expecting. Look away! Oh. But, <laughs> yeah, there's a couple of shots like this in, in this game. Um, some of them with women. And all the men just suddenly perked up. Uh, well, maybe not all of the men. Ha ha ha. But, ugh. Put 
learn some fresh underpants. These ones are green! Ish. Could put some clothes on. So I can stop looking at your terrible package. And now for a cutscene so that we don't see the horrible stretching and tearing that is them putting on clothes. It's all so they can cut down on the polys underneath the clothes. So that their bodies are the clothes. And I just gave away a secret 3D animation. Ah, oh. Well, one secret anyway. It's not a really big secret. It's... yeah, never mind. Let's go to the bird. Hey bird. Man, your life is boring compared to mine. Let's do some juggling. And here's practice at quick time events. Whee! Um, so what I will be doing, um, there's actually going to be two ways that this is going up. One way is obviously through YouTube, and um, and yeah, they'll be going up in 10 minute segments, but I'm also going to be uploading to Blip in um, half an hour segments, so yeah. Basically, ah, that thing just tried to tell me, hey, you want to hear my thoughts? And I was like, no. Have a cup of coffee. Cup of Joe. Basically, there's a lot of things that we can do in here that can waste time, like the drinking of liquids. But, um, pretty much what we're going to be wanting to do, pretty much the only thing that we're going to really want to do is come over here. Sorry about that, my brother just came in. But, um, I was saying that the only thing that you really need to do, although most people probably miss this in their first or second playthrough of this game, maybe not in their second, but um, the main part of the tutorial is like learning how to use the system. So of course they have a thing where you work for Ethan be because he is a architect. And I said that really weirdly. Because. nice lines and now you're gonna mess it up by freeform drawing. Alright man, it's your life. Alright. So now that we've made our sketch, we're now using pen to uh, darken up the lines as you do beautiful keep going keep going don't slip Ethan don't slip Get our our shadings. And because we don't want to have to do the entire thing, Ethan's gonna do the rest of it for us. Thanks, Ethan. Wow, it looks beautiful. Even that little woman you drew. But there's still more to do. Watercolors!
Oh, it's pretty. Now, there's one last little thing we gotta do. Uh, I believe that's our one. We have to sign our name. The Beautiful. plans are coming along nicely. Should be finished by Monday. Should be finished by Monday. They look kind of finished to me anyway. But, what do I know? I'm not an architect. Now, we're going to spend a lot of time in the garden in a minute. So, let's just kind of bum around here for a little bit. Like playing with the RC car.